I have a cop look, so I apologize for that in New York. Because my problem is I don't look like a nice cop who would help you. I look like a very jerky Staten Island, keep it moving. I'm going to racially profile you type cop. And Hi, this is Eric again with the New York Natives Underground Comedy Series. Today I'll be interviewing the hilarious Mike Vecchione, a fixture here on the New York City comedy scene. Let's start the interview right now. I have this look like I don't care if Obama won. Get out of the car. We have a problem. We have a problem. Give me an only new in New York story. When I first got here, I started doing open mics. And one of the open mics is around uh, a Madison Square Garden. It was the basement of a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> I had no other spot, so I went there and it was all comics. You got like free uh, tortilla chips. Yeah, and how'd it go? It went uh, pretty terrible. But uh, that's, yeah, I was happy to get a spot. Your worst gig ever, you think, in New York? In New York, there were a bunch of those. A bunch, it weren't terrible gigs, but they were just all, it's just, when you go to open mics, it's all comics. So, uh, you know, that's the way it is. You're, not, you're looking for genuine laughs, but it's all comics just waiting to go on. So you're just basically practicing saying the jokes in front of people who are not listening. And for those of you guys visiting here, be careful in New York, because everything is block to block here. You could be in a great neighborhood one block, you go one block away, you're in an awful neighborhood. But there's signs that tell you when you're in a bad neighborhood. Here's one, and this is real. You walk into a Kentucky Fried Chicken. If there's bulletproof glass in the Kentucky Fried Chicken, <laughs> separating the people who work at the Kentucky Fried Chicken from you, that's how you know, because it's shocking at first when you see that. It's like, oh my God, are people in this neighborhood murdering each other for chicken? You remember the first joke you ever wrote? First joke that I wrote that really hit that I did on TV was that um, I used to be a teacher. Uh, I taught kids with emotional problems. I taught them biology. Halfway through my first year, every student approached me. He says, Mr. Vecchion, if you don't pass me in biology, I'm gonna stab you in the heart with a pencil. And I'm like, if you could bring a pencil to school and then locate my heart, I'm gonna pass you in biology. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's the first one that I wrote that really, really hit hard, and I still use it today. <laughs> yeah, do your parents appreciate the career choice you've made? My parents are actually super supportive. My father was like, it's about time you did something besides teaching, and then they were really happy that I got out of education, because my mom was a teacher for 30 years. My father's a good man. When I was young, he taught me how to box. Then I got a little older, realized he wasn't teaching me how to box. He just used to hit me. That's depressing. <laughs> My father had a gambling problem. He lost our house when I was 11. He didn't want to upset me. He didn't say I lost the house. He just came home and said, Mike, how would you like to go camping forever? How do you describe the difference between a club comic and an alt comic? Like, the alt guys are creative guys. I have respect for them. But it's like, they fleshing out new ideas in a room. You know what I mean? And then, the, so it's a nice to have a combination of both. It's nice to be able to flesh out the new ideas without being judged like you are at a club, because at a club you have to have the punches in order. Uh, so you don't have that pressure in an alt room, but then you have to refine it so that you can bring it to a club. Very diplomatic answer, I like that. Right? Um, Nobody offended? Yeah. Now rape jokes, let's go. <laughs> what do you think about rape jokes? I think it's a sensitive topic. I get why it's sensitive. I'm not gonna come off like one of these comics. It's like, I don't get it, freedom of speech. I do get why it's sensitive. But that being said, I think you should have the right to try to be funny. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? You should have the right. And, and sometimes you're not always gonna be funny, but you have to have that, it's like that old, you have to have that leeway to work it out. And sometimes yeah, you can it's make a joke on. like that work with everybody. That's yeah. it. That's a, yeah. It's the most sensitive things that if you can make them funny, hit the hardest. Right, right. I wrestled in high school. Ladies, are you moist? I wrestled in high school. <laughs> Wrestling's a weird sport if you've never seen it. It looks like halfway between a hug and a rape. That's the way this sport looks, okay? It looks like two sex offenders trying to settle a bet. Everybody. That's the strange part. All right, now I have to go. You guys were nice. Thank you.